What's up YouTube and welcome back to another awesome auto vlog. I want to first start off with saying Happy New Year and welcome to 2023. I took some time off at the beginning of this year just to spend some time with friends and family and I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. One of the things that I've been wanting to do for quite some time on both the vehicles, I want to do a ceramic coating on the wheels. One of the things in particular with the BMW is that you get a ton of brake dust and this is only with about 150 miles on the vehicle since the last wash. So before we start off today's video, it is January, it's the new year and it's time to do the Asimoto t-shirt giveaway and also this is the drawing for the winner of the CBI off-road ditch brackets that I took off of my GX. So let's see who the winner is. All right, so congratulations and thank you for being an Awesome Moto subscriber. I'll be sending you one of these Awesome Moto t-shirts and also you are the lucky winner of the CBI off-road ditch brackets. I'll be reaching out to you via Instagram and I'll be shipping you these ditch light brackets along with that t-shirt. So keep a look out in your inbox and I'll be contacting you soon. So I've been doing a ton of research on ceramic coatings and one of the ones that I kept seeing come up as one of the best rated ceramic coatings for your wheels is this C Quartz Deluxe Ceramic Coating. So one of the nice things about this is it's not only good for your wheels but you can also put it on your brake calipers, plastic, rubber, and vinyl. So it's a multi-purpose ceramic coating for your vehicle. So if you've got any plastic trim pieces around your vehicle or any rubber molding that you just don't want to get dried out or you just want to keep it protected from UV rays, I want to open it up here and kind of show you some of the contents. It comes with a bunch of different uh, applicator. These are like a soft canvasy material and you get an applicator pad. And so you wrap the applicator around the pad and you can use this to apply it to the wheel. You get your vial of your Deluxe ceramic coating. So before we dive into it, I just kind of want to show you the state of the wheels. I washed both the GX and the M4 wheels on the same day. And I just want to show you how much of a difference the M4 versus the GX is as far as the brake dust buildup. All right, so here's the M4 wheel. You can definitely see a nice haze everywhere of brake dust. So if I just rub my finger on here, you can see it's just massive amounts of brake dust caked on everything. Um, yeah, there you can see where I was rubbing it before. It is just awful, and this is something BMWs are known for with their brake dust. So it's definitely a priority for me to do the M4 wheels first. So we'll see if this is enough to do both the GX and the M4. But these wheels get so much more dirty than the GX wheels do. So I'm going to start with these. So just to walk out here, <clears throat> I want to show you kind of the state of these wheels. With the about the same amount of mileage, you can definitely tell there's, there's some uh, brake dust build up there. Let me use a clean finger so you can kind of see, you know, you see it in the barrels here quite a bit. So if there's enough of this product left, I'm definitely gonna do the GX wheels as well. So this will be a multi-day experiment due to doing both vehicles, but I wanna do some driving as well just to see how easy they are to clean afterwards and how much brake dust actually sticks to the wheels. And maybe I'll even do the engine bay since this stuff can hold up to heat for brake pads. I'm sure it's probably great for an engine bays. And as a lot of you have seen in some of my past videos, I get a lot of mud up in the engine bay as well, which would be a great use of this product. All right, so I'm gonna get the M4 up on the lift. We'll take off the wheels and we'll start the prep process. All right, so for surface prep, we wanna get the wheels good and clean. So I'm gonna use Meguiar's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner. So this is a really good brake dust cleaner. It gets a lot of the brake dust out of the way. Uh, we're gonna rinse these off first, hit them with the Meguiar's, use some brushes to agitate some of that brake dust and get some of that stuff off of there. And then we're gonna lastly go through, once everything is clean, we're gonna hit it with this clean slate from Chemical Guys. And this is just a good surface cleaner. I use this for whenever I'm gonna ceramic coat my car. Uh, it just gets all the surface contaminants off. So we're gonna hit it with this to kind of neutralize the wheel and get some of the wheel cleaner off. And just kind of make sure everything is clean and ready for bonding of that ceramic coating. Actually, you like to use these detail brushes so you can get in to where these lug nuts are. Make sure you get all that brake dust out of there as well. All right, so after finishing up our first pass with the Meguiar's wheel cleaner, the wheels are really clean on the face of the wheel, but you can see there's a lot of extra brake dust that's still, it's kind of like baked into the surface of the wheel. Um, I can rub and get some of that off actually. So I think what I'm planning to do is go through 
and there's some other areas in here. Uh, just trying to get them as clean as I possibly can. I think what I'm going to do is do a complete second pass. I'm going to use a toothbrush to really focus my areas and get off some of this baked uh, brake dust that's in here. As you can see, pass number two did awesome for the surface here. I got basically all of that brake dust that was baked in there out. Uh, so as long as you just hit that uh, a second time and you really just focus your scrubbing in those areas, you can get all that stuff that's baked in there off. So the back of the wheel is looking very clean. Uh, so I'm gonna switch over, do that to the rest of the three wheels. All right, so it was very tedious doing it, but you need to make sure that you get all that brake dust off as much as you can with the wheel cleaner and the brushes because uh, it's just going to make it that much easier in the end when you're going to coat these wheels. Uh, you need to make sure that they're super clean. All right, so the next thing to do, now that everything's clean, we're going to go through with Chemical Guys Clean Slate and a bucket of water. Add some of that and a wash mitt. And we'll just go through and just rub these down by hand, hose them off, and that should take off any surface contaminants that we've had on there from the wheel cleaner. All right, so once these wheels are fully cleaned, you wanna go through and just dry them off with a microfiber towel. All right, so once the wheels are all cleaned off, if there are any missing spots where there was some brake dust kind of baked into the wheel, you wanna get a clay bar and some clay lube. I use the Chemical Guys Clay Luber and I also use their medium clay bar. So I'm gonna get started. I think at first I'm gonna try just doing it by hand without actually using the applicator pad. And I'm just gonna add a couple of drops here and start applying. Once you go through and you get a nice even coat and about a minute has passed, you'll go through with a clean microfiber towel and you'll buff the material off the surface. And this will take, and we'll do about five dabs. And I'll take this and start applying. Flip the wheel upside down here and we'll coat the inner barrel. All right, after a minute passes, go through. Start buffing that layer off, removing any extra residue. All right, so we'll take this down and move on to the next wheel. All right, and last but not least, you can go through with your lug nuts and you can actually ceramic coat these as well. All right, so the curing time on these is about three hours. So I'm just gonna let these sit for the three hours and let this product do its thing, cure properly so that we have a nice finish. All right, so there's more than half of this bottle left, so it's definitely gonna be enough for the GX, and I think it's also gonna be enough to go and hit each brake caliper. So I'm gonna go through, hit the painted brake calipers. These are a nice uh, pearl blue, which I love. I think it'd be great to ceramic coat these because these things get covered in brake dust. And so if we ceramic coat this as well, it'll hold up to the heat. So I'm excited. We got a little bit left over for that and also enough of the GX. So let's finish this up strong. All right, so the ceramic coating has been curing for over 24 hours now and they are just looking awesome. Just look how shiny and glossy everything came out. This is the cleanest these wheels have ever been. And there's just a nice, super bright gloss that has come out uh, from the ceramic coating. So you can just, I guess it's really hard without a proper before and after, but just cleanest I've ever seen these wheels, the shiniest I've ever seen them. I mean, I'm just really impressed with how glossy this makes them look. I don't know how well the camera is doing this justice, but the gloss is just extremely high and these wheels finally look really good. I'm super impressed with the way they look and I think I already showed these, but the calipers have cured as well and they just look super glossy and they pop as well. It's just kind of, everything seems to just kind of have like a wet look to it. So now that these have cured for 24 hours, it's time to put these on the M4. And since we still have over a half a bottle left of the C quartz, I think it's time to go take the GX wheels off and coat those as well.
right, so this has been about 12 hours and I can see that the gloss kind of came out, but we do still see more of a, a semi-gloss matte finish like they always were. Uh, it's just maybe one or two shades of gloss higher. Uh, one of the things I noticed with these Motegi wheels is they actually don't even paint inside of the lug nut holes, so that was kind of a bummer. So I've been editing some of this video as the wheels are curing overnight, and I was looking at some of the M4 videos, and I don't know what I was thinking, but the wheel weights here uh, for balancing the wheel out, you know, they are in really good condition here for the GX wheels, so you don't really have any issues there. But on the M4 wheels, I had pieces of them falling off, and there was all this sticky crap, and I don't know, I feel like a lazy piece of crap now because I should have been peeling off some of that coating. I guess what I was thinking was that because I'm getting new tires on the M4, I figure they're going to have to balance them anyways, and maybe I should have waited until after getting new tires and balancing the wheels to do the ceramic coating, but I think in that case what I'll do for the M4 wheels is I'll take off any of the adhesive residue from those wheel weights and then I'll clean that area and just spot treat the ceramic coating just in that small little area. So I think the next thing in order here is to put these wheels back on and we'll drive around for about a week and I'll come back and we'll do a little bit of a review of how well these held up with getting brake dust on them in general. All right, so it's been about a week since the coating has been done. The M4 I haven't driven a whole lot, so you can see on here there isn't a ton of brake dust. There's a little bit of some residue, but it seems to not really be sticking on here that well. Uh, so that's awesome. But I think I'll have to do some more miles on the M4 to kind of get a little bit better of a sample set on that. But the wheels look awesome. They are super clean still. Uh, but on the GX, there's some more dirt on these than the M4 wheels. These have about a week's worth of dirt, you can kind of see. Uh, this is actually really good for a week though. I mean, yeah, there's some on here. There's some brake dust and just general dirt that's collected on here, but really not a lot. So I'd say just in general, this coating is just keeping the dirt from sticking. I, I need to try this out with some mud to see how mud sticks. But the wheels themselves haven't collected a whole lot of dirt in a week's time, which normally they would have collected quite a bit. Uh, not as bad as the M4 normally would be, but the real question I have is getting the pressure washer out and we'll hit these with some water and see if it just hoses off or if I have to scrub. All right, so in particular, you can see that spot right there has got a lot of hazy dirt on there. If I were to wipe my finger on there, you would definitely see some residue. So I'm just going to hit it with the pressure washer and we'll see if that's gone when we're done. All right, let's do a wipe on there. And as you can see, nothing clear that's amazing so this stuff's really working and it's getting all that brake dust off of there with just a pressure washer uh, this might actually even just work with a regular garden hose without any real major pressure but uh, if you do have a pressure washer it's just blast it right off i want to get a little bit closer view of all these microbeads that are forming on everything there's just this tiny little tiny little microbeads which that was definitely not happening before see almost looks like powder it's these tiny little beads of water so that is awesome and lastly this rear wheel really doesn't have much on there eh, actually never mind if you run your finger up there you can really see it's quite a bit of dirt but it doesn't stick the way it does on normal wheels and I think the ceramic coating is just keeping the wheel looking extremely clean even when there is a haze on there it's like the haze is like evenly distributed or something uh, or just very light amounts of stuff is sticking to the wheel. So really what sticks is this super fine stuff and I guess that's maybe why it looks still like a nice black clean wheel because it's only the really fine grit stuff that's sticking and it's not getting that hazy look. Um, in general though, this stuff is really impressive. All right, and one last time, so you know I'm not doing any camera magic. Run our handle on the wheel. And nice and clean, so bam, that's awesome. All right, so there you have it, the install and the review of the C-Quartz and Deluxe ceramic coating. This stuff is awesome. 
Uh, as you can see here, we still have quite a bit of this bottle left. So I think I'm going to mess around with some of the spots on the GX and particularly maybe some of the trim that is fading. I know a lot of us with the GXs have that issue. The trim's kind of fading. And also I really want to check out that engine bay and put some of this stuff on there as well because this stuff works amazing. As you can see, I just hosed the wheels down, did no scrubbing whatsoever. And it's just an amazing product. It's keeping all the dirt off the wheels. And one of the biggest factors here is I don't even think I talked about price. This is $43 and it covers two vehicles plus some. Uh, so I'm going to put the links in the description below so you all can get access to this product and buy this if you want to do it for your car. I highly recommend for $43 to get both the M4 and the GX. Uh, that is a pretty good deal in my opinion. You know, I did have some extra costs in the wheel cleaner, but if you already have wheel cleaner hanging out in your house, then you really only need just the c quartz and some microfiber towels for polishing it off and uh, some brushes for cleaning those wheels. So overall, I really hope you like this video. I know it's late in January. This video actually took me three weeks to make uh, between working a lot and also the fact that I had to do the M4 wheels one weekend and the GX wheels a different weekend with work in between and then a whole nother week of letting the GX drive around and collect brake dust and dirt. So it was quite a lengthy video to produce and I appreciate you sticking around. I think this might be a longer video, but we did do both vehicles. So that's pretty awesome. And you got to see not only a matte semi-gloss wheel, but you also got to see the higher gloss wheel on the M4, just so in case your vehicle has one of the two, you know what that's going to do for your vehicle. All right, so that about does it for today's video. If you're not already an Awesome Moto subscriber and you like automotive content, whether it's for the M4, the GX, and you're interested in that type of stuff, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that thumbs up down below if you really like today's content. And lastly, if you're not already following me on Instagram and you're interested in seeing more behind the scenes content, go over to Instagram and follow me at Awesomoto. I show all sorts of behind the scenes content as I'm filming, just so you get a little bit of a sneak peek of the video. I know a bunch of you guys have been messaging me after posting some of the sneak peeks on the ceramic coating. So a bunch of you were messaging me asking when I was gonna post the video and if I was gonna even include any of this in a video. All right, so for the next few vlogs, we got some exciting content. We've got our Dobinson suspension finally came in and we are ready to install that. And additionally, after doing the install of the suspension, we have our Badlands winch over here. So the garage is full of goodies and things to install on the GX. If you saw them in the background, maybe you spotted them. Uh, there's just tons of stuff going on with the channel right now. Tons of good stuff going for the GX. And I also have a few videos planned here for the M4 and some motorcycle content later this year. All right, well, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.